This week I got the opportunity to make a film that's going to be shown on the big screen at a local 100 year old cinema. So I needed to teach myself how to make one particular transition. This one. So that's what I'm calling the rolling film transition. It looks like an old projector's gone wrong and two clips have got jumbled up. It'll make a really fitting transition on the big screen of an old cinema. So let's hop into Premiere Pro. I'll show you how I did this using just the stock effects. So I've got two clips on the timeline here. It doesn't really matter what they are in this case. It's just a couple of drone shots of a car driving along. So I zoom in a little bit. Right, so step one is to do a quick fade between them, which will mask that jump. So come into the effects panel down here. We're looking for cross dissolve and drag it across. Now by default, that's one second long. That's a bit longer than we need. So I'm just going to edit this down to be six frames. So if we play that back, just a very quick cut between the two. So now we need to add an adjustment layer above those two clips. So come on over into your project bin here, go to new and choose adjustment layer. Just go with the defaults. I'm going to rename it to be film roll and drag that over the transition of your two clips. Get it roughly in the middle there. So obviously we need the picture to roll. So let's do that first. Go back into the effects panel. And of course, if that's not there and just come up to window and choose effects. The one we're looking for is called offset. Grab it from here, drop it onto your clip. And now we need to set some keyframes. So let's come back to just a few frames in. And we want to start the shift center to keyframing. And then move to near the end again. You don't have to be exact here. And add another keyframe. Now this one, you want to grab the Y offset here because we're rolling it vertically. So grab that and drag it all the way to, uh, I don't know, let's go for about 30,000. But what you do need to be aware of is you want to make sure that it's lined up and it's not like this halfway between the two. You want it to be an entire frame, which is there. Okay. So now you've got these two keyframes here. I'm going to do my usual trick of as ease in and ease out. I've got a shortcut set up for those. You can find out how I've done that by going back and watching my how to edit faster in Premiere Pro video. Uh, there's a link here or here or somewhere. So if we play that back now, that works okay. Looks like the film's rolling. But we can set it a little bit more. So let's go back to that clip and these keyframes. Um, if you drop this down here with this triangle, you get this little graph you do that. Click on either of these uh, keyframes, grab the dot and drag it towards the middle. And do the same on the other side. Whoops, missed. Same on the other side. So what this does, this means the transition gets quicker towards the middle and then slows down at the end. So if we play that back, you can see it begins slowly, ramps all the way up and then slows back down again. Much more convincing. There's one more thing we need to really bring this home and that's just a tiny bit of motion blur. So back into the effects panel, we're looking for blur and then directional blur. Drag that onto the adjustment layer, not either of your clips. We're only working on the adjustment layer here. And then this roll is vertical, remember? So we want the directional blur to be vertical so we can leave that on zero. And the bit we want to actually keyframe is this blur length. So up in this window here, let's look where it begins to roll. So that's around here. So I'm going to pop in a keyframe for blur length there. And again, where it stops rolling, we want to do another keyframe. And then when it comes to the point where it really ramps up, let's pop in a keyframe there. Let's take that all the way up to, let's go for 18. And we want to hold that here. So we make this one 18 as well. Pop another keyframe in, 18-ish. You can see now, no blur. Blur increases up to 18 as the roll starts to get faster. Holds it a nice blur of 18 around here. And as it slows down, that blur length fades off until we come back to sharpness again. And of course, because we've done all of this on an adjustment layer, it's quite easy to reuse. So let's say we have another clip. I'm just going to reuse this one so we can go back to the original clip. So let's pop that on the end. Again, we'll do the same things we did before with the cross dissolve. Drag that over, shorten the duration, let's take it down to six frames, and then holding down Alt and dragging to copy the adjustment layer. Once you've created that adjustment layer once, you can use it over and over again. So there we go. Quick and easy rolling film transition created purely with Premiere Pro stock effects, no plugins required. If you use this technique in any of your videos, I'd love to see them. So drop a link in the description below. If you found this useful, please drop a like down below. And if you'd like to see more content like this from me, please consider subscribing. But that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.